Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another little video for you guys today. This one brings me out to Sherman Oaks, California to a place I haven't really been to since I was a kid. I came here many a times. It's Sherman Oaks Castle Park. About to head on in there. It's a place that has batting cages, miniature golf, and a bunch of other things. And this is the first time I'm coming back to this place. I don't know, maybe 20 years? I'm old, yes, I'm not old. But I'm here to see a very special person perform a live concert here. Walking up the steps to the castle right over here. And as you can see, there's like miniature golf going on with like little, like, you know, uh, little lanes that they have going. I haven't been here forever, forever. But I remember walking up these, walking up this little ramp a lot of times. But I'm just wondering where my friend's gonna have his concert at. Uh, over here, little tiki thing going on over there. I haven't played miniature golf in a, I don't know, a handful of years. I know the sun is right behind the castle, so it's not like showing up that great. But uh, let's walk into the castle. It kind of sort of feels like I'm in Disneyland, just a little bit with the way that, you know, how this thing is. They haven't really changed it up in years. But uh, the person that's performing tonight, it's Thomas Ian Nicholas, who we all know from Rookie of the Year in American Pie. Let's head on in. Taking a look at all the different games uh, that they have over here that you can play. Of course, the old school basketball one where you uh, try to shoot it and make a basket and get tickets. Old Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. and Mario. That's my kind of jam right there. They definitely have updated some of the games since I've been here last, obviously. But they do have some of the old school ones here as well, where you try to like throw a ball at a clown's mouth or the clown over here. Old school, old school. And of course they have the classic air hockey. I don't know if kids these days can appreciate, you know, how cool this was back in the day. But they do have a lot of these virtual reality games, you know, going on in here now, where you can like, you know, strap on a helmet and like go to, go to town and stuff. It's, it's kind of cool. Definitely a lot different than uh, when I was a kid. Just made it out back. And uh, this place is still straight out of the 80s. They even have like a old like haunted house looking thing, miniature one uh, up there. That I believe that was there since I was a kid. I believe that creepy little, ha the creepy little house has always been there. And when it comes to miniature golf in 2023, this place is still kind of popping. It kind of has all kinds of families all up out over here right now. I like, kind of like how this, these places like this. Still kicking, man. It's kind of hard to show you all the different little things that they got going here without looking like a creeper. But they still got the windmill. They still got the windmill up there. So I'm uh, currently writing songs for my seventh album. I know, some of you are like, you have six albums? I didn't even know that. Well, you know, welcome to the Thomas Nicholas Band Show where you get to learn a lot of great stuff about Thomas Nicholas Band that you never knew before and nobody else does, but now you do, so that makes you part of the cool kids. <laughs>
come to an end. And this is a very, very nostalgic place. Strawberry Shortcake over there. Thomas over here. Bro, what do you, what you been up to? Just, you know, being nostalgic. No, I know. Like, I, I, I haven't been here since I was a kid. I used to come here all the time. Dude, this, is, this was my stomping ground. Yeah, me too. I, uh, I'm pretty sure the gazebo where I was playing was yeah. where I had my 10th birthday. I don't know if I celebrated birthdays here, but I know I came here multiple times. Like when I was doing baseball back in the day, I came here to the batting cages. It's, it's just, how long has this place been here? Since like the 70s, 80s or something? Something like that. I mean, the, the city didn't own it back then from what I hear. Yeah. Now the city owns it and they're just signing their next agreement, so it's staying. That is that is super cool. I, yeah. it, this, this, the, whole, the whole thing is just... I know. Uh, it's just epic, You man. can't get rid of this. No, you can't. Look at that. I know, right? Who wants what? to go play video games and miniature golf and storm the castle in order to do so? Exactly. But bro, you're about to go on tour right now. This is like the beginning date of the tour. Yeah. And uh, where are you going from here? I have to look at my tour notes. There's a lot of places. So I know, like the Fox Theater's next, right? Fox Theater in Visalia, Visalia, however you're supposed to pronounce it. Yeah. Next. Um, this is this is the tour that's coming up. I don't know. I know yeah. you can't read it. I'll probably but pop, it's just a lot of dates. I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen if you guys are if you're in your town. You guys should come on down. So I'm, we got uh, Visalia, or however you're supposed to pronounce it, Fox Theater. Uh, going to Phoenix. Going to Des Moines, Iowa. Going to Muscatine, Iowa. Uh, a couple shows in the Chicagoland area, like Bolingbrook in Chicago. Uh, got, of course, Wrigley Field. Oh, nice, First nice. pitch, seventh inning stretch. 10,000 Rowan Gardner bobbleheads, Rookie of the Year Day. Yeah. Celebrating the 30th anniversary of Rookie of the Year. That, that, that's what I was going to bring up. It's 30 <laughs> years of Rookie of the Year and, what, 22 years or 20 years of American Pie. Dude, like, I, I, I feel older and older. Like, 24, but I'm not counting. Is it, it, oh, it is? Well, yeah, because I, I was 12 for Rookie of the Year. It's just easy math. Yeah. So it's always six years behind. Right? Because it was 93 that it came out, and then American Pie was 99. So I always, it's easy math. When it's the 30th anniversary, I just go carry the one. Yeah, yeah. 24. But you also are coming out soon, I think, with a set, your seventh studio album. Okay, well, I, I am going to come out, but I wouldn't say the word soon. Or, yeah, I, I, that's right, so you're talking about I it. I haven't recorded it yet. I've written about four songs for it. It's just interweaving it with the new TV show, uh, which you know about, Underdeveloped. Yeah, that you're doing with uh, Brian Metcalf and am, uh, yeah. uh, Tom Arnold. Are you going to be at Comic-Con? I don't think so. I would like to be. What, is there like something going on at Comic Con this year? Uh, you didn't hear it from me, but we have a panel. Okay. Uh, that we're talking about, you know, independent filmmaking and developing film and TV for streamers. But because Underdeveloped is our latest project, mm -hmm. then all of the cast is coming from Underdeveloped, and they're going to be on our panel. That that is super cool. Cause you guys have been working. You and Brian have been on like the, the what's called Warner Brothers lot. Yeah. Working on this stuff for a while, and I was wondering, uh, what is this? what is this going to be? I'm sure it's going to be cool. Well, we we signed our deal right before the strike. Okay. Uh, for distribution, so the pilot will be available. We don't have the release date yet, but it'll be available in the middle of July on uh, Amazon Freebie. You're always doing something. Always. 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 But bro. It's always cool coming out, hanging out with you, man. Especially at a nostalgic place like this, getting to kick it with Thomas Nicholas, man. It's so fun. Make sure you guys check out his tour dates. Are, are you, are you going to be doing uh, meet and greets in all of them? Yeah, every concert is uh, has a meet and greet portion. Um, some of them um, are just meet and greets. Like, obviously, when I'm throwing out the first pitch for the, the Cubs, the yeah, I yeah. Cubs, and, you know, the Iowa Cubs, or the Chicago Cubs, yeah. that's just a meet and greet. I, I'm not playing on Wrigley Field oh, yeah. yet. Hey, you guys never know. But Thomas, now I appreciate you taking the tech, taking the time, uh, just chilling over here. Make sure you guys follow him. I'll have a link for it down below to his Instagram and his website if you guys want to get some uh, cool stuff. And he signed a special baseball for me today. Stay tuned on my Instagram. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for it. Back now from hanging out uh, at Castle Park with Thomas Ian Nicholas. Had a great old time, man. It was cool uh, going to Castle Park for the first time in many years. And uh, I did get a couple things signed uh, today. One was for my boss, uh, Fonzie818 here on YouTube. Uh, you know, my boss at work, he gave me his 4K of Halloween Resurrection. And of course, uh, my buddy Tom played Bill uh, in the movie. And uh, of course, Michael Myers 
kills him and stabs him in the head and everything. And I uh, even had him write the uh, write, write write something on there saying "Ouch, my head." It wasn't even something from the movie. It was just something funny. Me and my uh, me and my buddy uh, Fonzo, uh, you know, talked about at work. So I got his Blu-ray signed. But uh, the other thing I got, I got signed. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for on my Instagram. So you guys must be following me and Thomas uh, on his Instagram. And uh, whenever I post a picture of this baseball that is signed by him, one lucky winner is going to win this uh, autographed baseball right here. You may be asking yourselves, Brendan, why are you giving away a baseball? Wouldn't you want to keep that for your collection? I already have one up there in that Rookie of the Year picture. I have it like framed inside the frame right there. It's kind of cool. Uh, autographed you know, uh, mini poster and things. So I don't need a baseball. So I'm giving one away to one lucky viewer. So if you guys are watching this video right now, follow me on Instagram. Link to that is in the description box, the very top link. That, or I'll put it in the top link in the, in the comments too. If you guys want to win a, a baseball signed by Henry Rowan Gardner himself, Thomas Nicholas, uh, right here. One lucky winner is going to get it. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Thomas, thank you for being so cool. I can't wait to see the premiere of your new TV show. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. But guys, catch you on the next one. Rock on.